something to admit. What? Um, when I asked you to come to the mall so we could get food, I lied. Uh oh. You know how we have that Google thing tomorrow? If we look and act like scrubs tomorrow, they're not gonna go for it. And then that's gonna, what? that, yeah. What, I mean like what, you got like, I, what's wrong with how I look? I mean like, freaking Peter Jackson can accept an Oscar looking like a scrub, so why can't, why can't I? Is that, is that, is that suddenly, what, what, what's okay, going on? Peter Jackson, right? Okay. You're, you're a director. Yeah, sure. Okay, if you see talent that doesn't look the part, are you gonna cast that talent? No. So think of yourself as talent here. It's not about the way that you like to dress personally. It's a way it's a way of giving the impression to the product that you're the right spokesperson. Um okay, man, and, that's a lot of pressure. Yeah. Okay, you know, like so this is not normally what I do, but I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys. I'll I'll whip myself into shape. It'll be a whole new Sam. I, this is going to be the transformation you down of Sam to to cool Sam. Well, I mean, if you I feel like it, I feel like I, it up, we might have to fire somebody. set of the Google Chromebook shoot. We're kind of doing a little feature piece on Corridor Digital and our process featuring the Google Chromebook. This is it. It's a nice, Damn. nice design. Damn, look at this. Touch screen and all that. Is it really touch screen? Yeah. Mm. It's pretty sweet in a laptop, right? Dude, Sam, you look so fancy. Dude, you're so fancy. Look at these clothes, man. You look like a Chromebook. Why didn't Jake or Nico have to get new clothes? I get how I need to improve my fashion. Jake and Nico look totally normal. They didn't improve their fashion. Look at this. Black shirt, blue jeans. And look at me. Man, look at look at your pants. Look at those socks. I even wore the shoes and socks you picked out for me. But literally first thing that happened today, I walk in and the stylist comes over and looks at me and she's like, I love everything you're, you're wearing. This is perfect. And she left. <laughs> We're basically, for the camera, showing a step-by-step -step walkthrough of generally how we work on videos, talking about, okay, there's brainstorming, there's a little scripting, there's some storyboarding for the shots where we brainstorm about how we brainstorm videos. Okay. We're actually brainstorming this flinch fight video. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Pitch me this video. All right, are you ready? Uh, there we go, that's the pitch. Uh, <laughs> Try to make me flinch. Well, you gotta show that video of Kobe <laughs> I think we got like a, it was like at least 40 people on this crew right now, so it's a pretty big deal. It feels pretty cool to be the, the center of attention and not doing less of the work. Hey, I like that Chromebook. It's pretty sweet. Touch screen is the best part. Well, we try to make videos that are cool and look nice. <laughs> All the spectacle of a big movie with the affordability of the YouTube video. Yeah, making a good film takes a lot of communication. If you're going to make a, a work of art, you want everybody to be passionate about it. Easy. It's easy to come up with like an idea for a video like The Seed. But to actually like grow that into something broad, it really requires like discussion and brainstorming and like other voices and other other thoughts. Cool. It's very difficult to sit there at a computer screen and just laugh by yourself. <laughs> you have really good skin, so I'm just gonna turn oh, down like you. a little redness. Gabe, did you have to get makeup? Yeah, dude, it was terrible. Really don't want makeup. Just be a little bit. It was more than a little bit. I survived. Makeup. It's gonna feel a little minty. Okay. It'll feel good though. Minty. Interesting. Do I, do I fit in? Do I fit in? Do I fit in? And action. We wanted to give Google the experience of what it's like shooting a video with us. Everything from conceptualizing to writing to being on set filming. We're showcasing a behind the scenes look into what it's like shooting a video with us without actually shooting a corridor video. I'm so happy that we picked this outfit because you showed up this morning and the wardrobe said, love what you have on. Yeah. yeah, I feel like we walked into it with a sense of irony, but now I'm starting to actually embody this new style. You gonna wear this from now on? I don't know, but I mean. I mean how comfortable is this, is this long neck sweatshirt? Dude, that's a really nice sweatshirt. I, I'm kind of jealous to be honest. My socks have hot sauce on them. I like your socks. <laughs> yes, Jake picked them up. Pants. You don't like these pants? I like the shoes. Yes. They're stylish. Why don't you like the pants? Stylish. You got a problem with pants? Yeah. I, no, I do like the shoes. Thanks, I picked them. I'm proud of you, man. Corporate millennial. Are you why? Because this couldn't have worked out better. Turns out, 
you hit the nail on the head in a way that was unforeseen to both of us. And yep. I think that that means that it's are a magnificent you, are you success. Blind right now? It looks like you're a blind guy. I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to look really stylish. So I just want to say congrats, man. Thanks, man. All right. All right. You guys are fantastic. Man, this is a heavy camera right now. Because you have all those clothes on? Or? It's, yeah, it's this heavy sweater. Where Paul Bunyan Jr. confronts his father's killer. No, who is the he's the, Paul Bunyan he's Jr. The evil, he's the evil... He's an angry, like, lumberjack losing the You're the, you're the evil corporate Sam. Uh, uh, logger. Sam. Chop down the rainforest. And this is Paul Bunyan Jr. Sam, not Paul Bunyan Jr. I'm Paul Bunyan <laughs> Sr. All right. Paul Bunyan is my son, yeah. I'm actually Paul Bunyan. <gasps> he's... Okay. So this is like a retelling of the Paul Bunyan yeah. story. So improvised. So <laughs> Paul Bunyan Jr. and then Paul Bunyan and normal. You're Paul Bunyan. You're Paul Bunyan Jr. Junior? You're yeah. my son. I'm your grandson. Because if you're a senior, that means Junior the second, the third. Paul Bunyan the third. <laughs> what have you done to offend me so much that I'm trying to axe murder you? Remember, in any acting course, there's who you are, and then there's your objective. You know who you are. Yeah, Paul Bunyan Jr. Okay, what's your objective? I need to tell you about what's the impending doom is about to hit. Okay. And and my objective is that I think that you're an alien and not actually my grandson. No, he, you think he's a tree. <laughs> uh, you want to see the coil, Sam? You can kind of tell us. I was thinking Hold on, I'm, so, I'm soaking this up right now. Three, two, one, go. Ah! 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 I feel like that was the cleanest one we've done so far. That was no, that was clean. <laughs> See, you're hitting him with you hit him with the blunt end of it. Yeah, because he doesn't want to kill me because yeah. I'm his grandfather. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's for the camera. Don't tell me. Don't tell me what, what to, to do. do ever again. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing here. I watched this video about what to do if you fall out of a plane without a parachute. Or if you fall out of a plane with a parachute and everything goes wrong. First off, staying in there as long as possible is the first priority. You go like a flying squirrel. Create surface areas to slow yourself down. It's the only incremental. You want to look for like some boggy stuff, some fields, tree? some, some mean, trees, really? bushes. You don't want to hit water because the surface yeah. tension of when you fall into water really fast, you should know this about water. But if you fall from water too fast, the surface tension either breaks your leg because you're hitting it too hard or what happens you go you break through the water the water expands and then contracts and hits you really hard and that can knock you out cold really so that's really dangerous yeah I you imagine that yeah no it's like the first thing that can hurt you is the obviously is surface tension just destroying you a tree yeah that's the only logical so now remember we're here <laughs> and you're like all right trees <laughs> all right that see that tree right there I would aim for that one look at how soft and close that looks yeah what I mean like compared a branch to just hits you and goes right through you you, you know what it might I mean, and and see that's yeah. the thing so we're, we're talking about 90 9% chance of death or 100% chance of death. So let's say, let's, let's say you can't find a tree. You don't stiffen up. What you want to do is when you hit, you want to like send yourself into a roll right away when you're hitting the ground. The idea is that right, it's about to hit the ground. You want to take your momentum and you want to do this. You change the angle in which you're striking it down. It's not just like this, it's yes. a and, and, and it takes a lot of that velocity and yeah. puts that into a spin, which takes the velocity away from the impact. Let's say you've survived any of those situations. You've hit, maybe hit the tree, maybe hit the ground. You're probably really fucked up, probably broken some bones if you're still alive. Yeah. And the thing you want to know is that you're, you're probably going to be in shock. And uh, if you have your cell phone, you want to dial 911. <laughs> <laughs>